Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math ACT Prep Series. Here I'm going to be solving a problem from a 2009 ACT Prep book. Remember that you can pause the video to solve the problem before I do at any time. So our question here reads, in this figure, the area of the larger square is 50 centimeters squared, and the area of the smaller square is 18 centimeters squared. What is the length of x in centimeters? And so our x is this little piece here. So in order to solve this, we are going to actually add two more variables. We'll add a y here to be the side of the smaller square. And we'll add a z as the length of the side of the larger square. And so we know that z squared is equal to 50 centimeters, centimeters squared. And we know that y squared is equal to 18 centimeters squared. And so we're going to solve for each of those, and we will be able to solve for y for x using those two variables. So z is equal to plus or minus the square root of 50. But because we're working in lengths, we can ignore the negative. We can't have a negative length. So our z is equal to the square root of 25 times 2. And we can extract the square root of 25, which equals 5 times the square root of 2. So that's our z value. That's as simplified as we can make it. And we'll do the same thing for y, equal to plus and minus the square root of 18, but we can ignore the negative. And we can do the same thing and expand inside the square root. So the square root of 9 times 2. So we'll get the y is equal to 3 times the square root of 2. And so we know now that we can solve for x because x plus y is equal to z. And so we've got x plus our y, 3 times the square root of 2 is equal to our z, 5 times the square root of 2. And so we have x equals, if we subtract the 3 square root of 2 from both sides, 5 times the square root of 2, excuse me, that's supposed to be 2, minus 3 times the square root of 2. This might look a little confusing, but like an algebra problem, you can uh, you can factor out the square root of 2, like you would if it was an x or something. And so we've got x equals square root of 2 times 5 minus 3. And from here, we know that 5 minus 3 is simply 2. And so our x is equal to 2 times the square root of 2, which gives us answer choice B. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click here to watch more ACT playlist videos, click here to subscribe to our channel, and click here to visit centerofmath.org for more math resources.